they called it the fork-tailed devil, the P-38 Lightning fast, deadly, beautiful, but in 1942, it had a fatal flaw. Its engines, flying high over Europe, they'd freeze, stall, or explode without warning. Pilots called it a death sentence, engineers called it unsolvable. Then came one man, Clarence Kelly Johnson, not a general, not a soldier, a civilian engineer with Lockheed. He locked himself in a hangar for days, studying every vibration, every flicker of the twin engines. And then, he tried something that sounded insane. He changed the airflow, redesigned the intercoolers, tweaked the cowling, and forced hot air to flow in ways no one thought possible. The result? The P-38 could now climb higher, fly farther, and dive faster without its engines failing. Suddenly, the devil lived up to its name. Over Europe, German pilots would spot those twin booms glittering in the sun and know the fight was already lost. P-38 seconds shredded bombers, outclimbed Messerschmitts, and escorted missions deep into enemy territory. Kelly Johnson's impossible trick turned a flawed experiment into one of the most feared fighters of the war. He wasn't on the front lines, but because of him thousands of American pilots came home alive. Sometimes, the deadliest weapon isn't a gun or a bomb. It's an idea.